Hey everyone, Patty here, full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari, better known as Girl Hustle on YouTube. I needed to get out today, so I decided why not share a little bit of my view with yous and also do a video at the same time. So that's what I'm going to do, and it's not going to be a long one, but... I'm going to be sharing some tips that hopefully will save you some time and money when you're doing your house cleanouts. If you haven't already, please check out my first video on house cleanouts. I do give some tips and tricks in there also, and I might go over a little bit in this video too. I may repeat something and I don't mean to, but I added to the list of things in my first video that you're going to want to have on hand. Stick with me to the end and I'm going to share some ways to save you time and money when you do some cleanouts as well. Okay, you're definitely going to need some old clothes, old work boots, old rags, buckets. I took some Windex. Uh, you're going to need a broom and dustpan because realtors, if you're doing a foreclosure, they like the house to be kept in what's known as broom swept condition which is basically, it's swept out, it's straightened up, and yeah, so paper towels, air fresheners, I always leave an air freshener when I leave a house when it's all done. Garbage bags, you wanna make sure that most definitely have construction bags, they're stronger, you can fit more in them, but I also have leaf bags because some of them want the yards cleaned up too, leaf bags and also some regular bags, but more important is the construction bags. Definitely mask because you don't know what you're going to walk into, believe me. Uh, hand sanitizer. Some places you may come across, I've done it already, there may not be any running water. Uh, tools, hammer, nails, basic tape measures to be measuring the furniture to see if you can get them down the steps and, you know, stuff like that. Tie down, tarps boxes different sizes of boxes to be putting the stuff in you're going to need some safety gloves so you don't get stuck or cut with glass Come on. flashlights because you don't know if there's going to be any electricity and uh i've also ran into that problem but flashlights you might want to carry some light bulbs some of them do have the electricity on and you might just need a light bulb Ratchet straps to hold down whatever you're going to be carrying. A shop vac. It'll make your job a lot easier. But that's just a short list of some of the things that you want to make sure that you're prepared beforehand. Once you win the bid, what you want to do to save you time is find out the nearest landfill and the nearest recycling places to the property that you're going to be doing the clean out with. Once you get to the property, there's going to be what's known as a lockbox, and your realtor will give you the combination to that. They do take some time to get used to, so please be aware of that. All right, so you're in the property. Number one thing is to do a quick walkthrough. Safety first. So you want to make sure that the steps are safe, the cellar steps, steps especially, and the attic steps, the floors, the ceilings. You're going to go into some properties that are not safe to walk on. So take a first aid kit, do a quick walk through and yeah. Okay, your goal here is to be as profitable as you can while saving time and money. I recommend starting from the top of the property first and get all that, all the furniture that needs to be moved. You want to get them to the bottom floor. Decide a day what day is going to be furniture day because you do have to get all the contents out of the house. Furniture day, we usually save to the end, but that's totally up to you. I highly recommend putting another open garbage bag down while you're going through other bags. Don't reach so into a bag of unknown contents. Pick through the stuff you want and put them in the bag that's under the bag. Don't reach into the bag. Put the stuff that you want to sell to the side. So let me you want to do this as fast as you can. So you want to get those bags and boxes of trash to the, gr to the ground level, to your pickup truck, and to the landfill, recycle bin, etc. So this is not good. By doing it this way, it's not going to look 
overwhelming when you still see all this trash you have to get rid of. So if you can delegate somebody to be the one that's going to be hauling this stuff, that'll save you a lot of time and frustration. After everything's cleaned up, you want to do a broom clean, maybe run the sweeper, the shop vac, make it, freshen it up, leave an air freshener. If you find some good stuff to sell, don't leave it there with you. If it's small enough to take with you, take it with you. I highly recommend it. We were on a, a clean out a few years ago and there were quite a few uh, play, like place video game systems, I should say. And I put them all in a pile. Next thing you know, I told my husband he needs to lock the door, lock the door because it was a, it was a rundown property. Didn't lock the door and guess what? The kid next door came in and took them all. So yeah, so lock the property or take the stuff with you. Another one up there in the trees. Not all properties are going to be foreclosures. You may be cleaning out garages. You may be cleaning out houses for just regular people. So just, it's all how you market yourself and what you're willing to do. Just leave the property in good condition. Make sure it looks nice and decent and you'll get the business. For all that good stuff that you find on the property that you can resell, there's so many ways to do it. You can do it on Facebook Marketplace. You can sell that stuff at yard sales. We used to put a lot of it out for free. There were people, we weren't in a good area in the one house and we would put the some the TVs and the bigger stuff out for the people. We just put it on the porch and we went back the next day and some of it was gone. So the stuff that away. you want to give away for free, you can also donate. You can, you know, go to the Goodwills, the Salvation Army. You can just give a lot of this stuff away. List on eBay, list on any of the marketplaces online. You can also do online auctions. So there's so many ways to get rid of the stuff that you don't have to put the money out because it's going to cost you to go to the landfill and the more the less you have to spend out of your pocket the better so see what you can get rid of and go from there put the metal to the side you can also get rid of that and yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this video i just wanted to take you on a walk i didn't want to be sitting in the house doing a video so i thought you know what i'm going to do something different and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. some entries. Down. It's really tranquil there. Come on, I'm not staying.
wear my sunglasses in the sun. Kind of dying. They're so pretty. If I stood in that rock, it looked like I'm standing in water. It looks like I'm standing in water. Oh, I just missed a fish jumping out of the water. 